How do you interact in Mixrati? In this video, we are going to have a look at the Interaction SDK by Meta, which will give you all the tools you need to interact with both controllers and hand tracking. Now, this tutorial will be cut in two parts. In this first part that you are watching right now, we are going to see how to set up the latest version of the Meta SDK and have a look at its demo scene. And in the second episode, we will learn how to set up this interaction from scratch on an empty project for you to easily use on your own game, which might be a great use for the newly announced MetaQuest Presents Platform Hackathon that will take place between March 25 and May 13. Now, I'm super proud to say that I was selected as one of the judge for this event. So if you want to challenge yourself and build a mixed reality game, now is the best time to do this with the help of this tutorial for this event that you can join in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are in an empty Unity project and the first thing you need to do is to set up the meta all-in-one SDK, which is very easy. So what you are going to do is go here on the Unity Asset Store and search for the Meta XR All-in-One SDK. By the way, you will be able to find this link in the description below. And now you can simply click on Add to My Assets. Perfect. Now let's do Open Unity Editor. And you should be able to see here the Meta XR All-in-One SDK appearing in the Package Manager. And then you will need to click on Install. Perfect. Now let's click on Restart Editor. And there you go. If we go above, click on in project, we can see that all of the Meta SDK are now installed from the Meta XR all-in-one SDK, but there is still one missing, and it is the one that contains all of the samples, which you can find on the asset store with this name, or with the link you will find in the description below. So now let's simply click again on open in Unity, and then click on install. Beautiful, now the package is installed as well. Let's go to in project now and we can see it here over there, the Meta XR Interaction SDK OVR samples. And now if we go to samples, we will be able to download all of the scenes which will contain some great thing for us to try. So let's click on import for the example scene, again for the feature scene and again for the tools. I really advise you to do so because these scenes are really great. But now everything is done we have all the package necessary to interact with the Meta XR All-in-One SDK. So let's click here on the close button. And the last step is, of course, to set up the project for VR and particularly for the MetaQuest, which we can do so by clicking here on this little icon on the bottom right and then on the project setup tools. Another way to go here on this page is to go to edit project settings and then click on Meta XR. Beautiful. Now we have some setting for both desktop and Android. And as you can see, we have some issues that we will need to fix. But before doing this, what I like to do is make sure that if I go to file, build settings, I want to make sure here that the platform selected is Android. So let's click here and then click on switch platform. Okay, so now the platform is Android, as you can see. So we can go back to the player settings by clicking here. Then let's go on the Meta XR and we can finally fix all of these issues which will set up the project for us. So let's click here on fix all. Sometimes it is needed to click again on fix all if not all of the issues are fixed. Then let's click on apply all. Okay, now that everything is verified, we can do the same on desktop over there and then click on fix all again. And now, as you can see, everything seems good and everything is ready. We have all the packages and we've made all the settings that are necessary to create a XR game. So we can close here this windows. And what I'm going to do is go there to samples, meta XR interaction 62, the version that I have. And then I'm going to go to the example scene and finally to the comprehensive rig example. We can click here on import TMP essentials. This is just for displaying some text. And we don't need here the example and extra. So let's just click here on the uh, close button. And there you go. If I scroll a little bit, you can see the beautiful example scene that Meta has just built for us that will feature all of their interaction and which I believe is amazing. So, so let's have a look at what's inside. The most important part is here, the OVR cameraic interaction, which is, as I told you in the introduction, what I believe is the best new feature from their SDK. Because if we go down below, we can see that we have here the OVR camera rig. And then on top of it, we have the OVR interaction comprehensive, which will add all of the interaction that we can see on this scene. If we go down below, we can see that we have both the OVR hands and the OVR controllers. So this means that the interaction will work for both hand tracking under here the OVR hands 
and for the controllers with the OVR controllers. Now, I know that there is a lot of element here inside this rig, which can be a bit overwhelming, but the most important stuff are here if we go under the left hand, under then the hand interactor left, we can see, as you can see, all of the interactor, which are the important part of this prefab. We have one interactor to poke, we have one interactor to grab, we have one interactor for the ray, one here, which is called the locomotion and interactor group, which, as you can see, has both teleport interactor and a turn interactor. Then we have the distance and grab interactor, which will allow you to grab objects that are far from you. We have then the touch hand grab interactor, and then the hand grab use interactor to use object that you are grabbing. Then, as you can see, we have this for the left hand, but we also have this for the right hand as well. And the same goes on for here, not the OVR hands, but the OVR controllers. As you can see, if I go under the controller interactor, we can see all of the interactor that we have for controllers. And there you go, this sums up all of the interaction that you can have with here the OVR interaction comprehensives that will enable for both hand tracking and controller this interaction that you can see on the scene. So everything is set up for you with this OVR camera rig interaction. But for some reason, if we go to the OVR camera rig, which contains the OVR manager, as you can see, there are some things that we need to do on top of this. For example, we need to enable the target device to be Quest 3. And if we go a bit down below, as you can see, the end tracking support is set to controllers only, but I think it would be best to set it to controllers and hand. Now, by the way, this is here basically the manager of all the interaction and the stuff going on in VR for the MetaQuest devices. You can change here if you want to use path through, for example, and all of the different features from the MetaQuest, like the virtual keyboard, for example. But I think that in our case, it will be enough just to have controller and hand enable. You can maybe improve the end tracking quality to high to make it a bit more precise. But now everything is ready. As you can see, I have my Quest 3 plugged to my computer right now with the Oculus Link, which means that if I click on play right now, I will be able to test all of this application directly inside the Unity Editor without having to build. So let's do this right now. Okay, so as you can see, the first thing that we can do is here, I'm having uh, two controllers. And as you can see, if I try to grab here the little mug on the right corner of the table, as you can see, I can move it around and even release it. Now, next, we have here this panel. Now, this panel is very complex, but it will demonstrate to you two things. The ray interaction, if we try to interact with the panel from far away, and the poke interaction, if we are trying to poke it. And as you can see, with this, you can select one of the UI elements right there. You can also scale here this panel, which is a bit more complex. So here on this left side, you have here... Uh, this little spray bottle, which you can grab and that you can use. You have here a touch and grab example, which allow you to grab stuff more naturally. So this is really hard to see here with the controller. So what I'm going to do is just put the controller on my desk right there and try this with hand tracking because as you can see right now, everything still works with hand tracking. I can still grab the mug. I can still poke the panel in front of me. And now, as you can see, I can still grab and use the spray bottle and grab more naturally here this chest piece. Now, next, if I go to the side, as you can see, if I put my hand up and try to pinch, I can also teleport. And with the ray, I can do now two things. As you can see, I can try to grab object from far away with this one. Or I can even interact here with the big canvas with the ray and click on play or pause. And there you go. As you can see, this sums up a bit all of the interaction that you can do on the scene. I think it is really good that Meta has put up a scene that contains everything all together. So grab, poke, teleport, ray, and all that stuff. But now that we understand a bit more all of the interaction that you can have, feel free to play with the scene. There are also a lot of other scenes that you can find here in the example scenes that will demonstrate more particularly one of the features. There is also some scene on the feature scene right there and one here on the tools folder that you can see for the hand grab pose tool. Now, anyway, feel free to play with these three scenes. But what we are going to do next is to see how we can use these OVR camera rig interaction prefab inside a completely empty project. 
to know how we can set up some very simple interaction on a project that we will build from scratch. And there you go guys with this beautiful demo. I hope you guys are excited for the next episode where we will learn how to use this comprehensive interaction rig ourselves and set up our own interaction. I also hope that you are excited for the MetaQuest Hackathon which will happen very soon. So don't wait any longer. You can join the event with the link you will find in the description. As always, a big shout out to my Patreon which will appear on the screen right now. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.